Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Lenny and this is Big Girls Really Do Cry. And today I have a um, jewellery unboxing, I suppose. Um, however, this is for the charity shop. It's not for me. I haven't bought it for me. I am doing it for them. Uh, it's the second one I've done. I didn't record the first one. I thought, oh, it might be of interest. Plus, because I don't really know that much anyway. She said to me that if there's anything that you knew about and whatever, because she does not know anything about jewellery. And I, I have learnt little bits, but by no means anything major. So if there's anyone out there who has any clue about anything in this, even just of what you call certain types of stuff, so that I can then just label it for her, because I said I would label anything that I found out and measurements and things on so so it was easy for people when they were coming in the shop to know you know and she didn't have to um measure them and everything because uh she just doesn't have the time bless her um so i have already recorded this part when i did it holding the camera so i kept putting the camera down um i mean obviously i I stopped it in between them not just putting down and then you're staring at a wall or anything <laughs> but um yeah I will show you I will show you what was in and then I've done a bit of like kind of a bit of research and stuff and then I'll show you those things in a sec so yeah but like I said if you've got any information or anything in this then please put it in the comments box because it'll only help the charity shop when they're trying to sell it so that would be cool um yeah anyway thank you <laughs> so this is what i was given so shall i have a look now unfortunately i can't like video and hold i can't hold the camera and show you at the same time because I have nothing to attach this to because I'm leaning over my bed by the way right so what I'll do is I know these have got little bits in so I'll keep them over there and then I'll just empty this bag and we'll go from that okay so that is what I can see. If anyone has any clue about anything, please put it in the comments below because um, obviously it will help uh, the charity shop. Um, I, I've learnt a little bit, but I know nothing really. And so, yeah, if it if it helps them, it's all the better, isn't it? Okay, where do I even start? Having a clue. Um, and it's just a a heart pendant in a bag on its own. There's nothing on it. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll go through it and then I'll come back to you. So far, I just have this, which is kind of all well, seems a bit costume bar, and then this wooden cross. Which this is which I've already showed, and there's some a bracelet. I think they might be like glass ones. They feel quite cold, and they're pretty. He it's pretty heavy for a little bracelet. And then over here, I've put this, which I found, which is like I'm not sure if it's silver. I think it might be, but it's all stuck in this piece of thing. <laughs> whatever that is and then there was these in here I don't know looks like dolls combs hairbrushes or something with black plastic backs and then this and inside this is some hold on see if I can open it again worry dolls has anyone heard of those what <laughs> from Guatemala I think that's what it said but for, for the just look a bit yeah a bit apparently 
you put you do you give these to children I'll get the naught out because there's a naught in there right I've got the naught bit you give these to children it says the Guatemalan worry dolls um, according to legend is that the legend I does Guatemalan children uh, tell one worry to each doll when they go to sleep, uh, 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 go to bed at night and put the dolls under their pillow and in the morning the dolls have taken their worry away. So that is so far. I've come across this which is, I think these are like seed beads, I think that's what they're called but it's a nice necklace but nothing on it, written on it. Uh, then I've got this which I think is some kind of shell is it? These bangles stretch, it doesn't last any, it's still quite good to the stretch but I think this is some sort of shell, not sure if anyone knows please let us know. Um, and then there's this, it's really light, oh and it's like tangled, hold on tangled in the camera thing. Uh, I think these beads are like, are these called faceted beads because of the multifaceted? Is it multifaceted? I don't know. Anyway, then I thought, oh I wonder if this is silver but I, I don't think it is. Um, there's no markings or anything. Um, yeah, but if anyone has any clothes let us know. Um, and then there's this which I think is lovely uh, this bottom bit is just some sort of plastic I think it's uh, yeah um, and then these beads are really pretty as well on this necklace so yeah oh it's gone dark it's gone dark outside um, and that there's a piece of glass. Is that fused fused glass pendant? Yeah. Well, oh, it's definitely a pendant. <laughs> I think it's fused glass, isn't it? When it's, it's different inside, like uh, another colour inside type of thing. So there's a broken bracelet, and sadly. This necklace, which I also think has fused glass beads, um, is in about four parts, sadly. So it's really pretty. But they do craft it and things, so hopefully someone can reuse these because they're really nice. So there's this, which is just, I think, bits of shell bracelet. Fine. Right, this I'm assuming is tarnished because I would assume it's not meant to be this bronzy green looking colour. <laughs> um, and so I assume it's just tarnished. Uh, as is this butterfly. Uh, yeah, there's not a lot left. Oh, but, um, Um, that's pretty. It's got all its stones. Um, can't see anything written on it. It's got so it can either be worn as a um, brooch or a necklace pendant. Yeah. I'll uh, have a look and see if there's anything else on it, like close up and let you know. Um, it's just a stretchy little pearl thing. It's not really pearls. Also, it's like, you know some of these things, it's like how's tarnished, tarnished. 
because to me I wouldn't want this because that well that bit's going green actually um, but I suppose all these could be reused just but then isn't some things meant to have some sort of distressed look you know what I mean I mean I'm not sure uh, on what but, um, oh they're overstretched aren't they yeah certainly they're very overstretched but it's like oh that's that jeez wow that's like a whole rock <laughs> see now this looks a little bit tarnished is that just natural like how it's meant to look wow where is I mean that's heavy whatever it is it's heavy um is it just hold on let's see if I can get it out of here see is that is that no would you class that as no good with that looks a bit yeah that looks a bit battered doesn't it um chain doesn't look too bad well, not in this light anyway but that bit wow anyone got a clue what even is that? Is it glass? It's not. So there's these, this bearded necklace, which is fine. Um, and then there's this with these sort of metal um, I don't know what they're called. like a collar isn't it but anyway any words of any kind will help thank you um and then this has got these little chips of different you see them in different stones but also a load of beaded ones um right, i'm gonna see that one on make that look normal <laughs> it's m and um, it's quite nice and it's totally fine so I'll uh, put that and see what we've got left so we can pull this all out Tangled around the with more of this uh, broken chain. Get that out. Such a shame that's all broke. See a really nice bead. Right. Okay. Oh wow, this is well that's dented. It's like the super, super thin. It's so light, but it's proper dented. And I think that's another one. I'm just this one's dented. Uh, yep, it is again. Super, 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 super light. Uh, um. Oh, spotted. Oh, nice. Wonder if that's gold. Does that look like gold? Is it got any more? I think I can see something, but I can't see what it, what's there. 
I need to move it closer. But that's gorgeous colour green. Right, one second, I'm going to have a closer look. These earrings, which have stones missing. This, it's just heart on a sort of piece of cord. And then this pearl choker. I think it's a choker because it's not very big. Um, so... Then I'll go into the broken bit. And then there's this, which is all very tangled. And then there's what's in the boxes. So I'm going to untangle this and then I'll be back. This is just a black stretchy, but it's a bit stretched, overstretched. And then this is fine, which I think is like a choker. I assume these little. Are these little discs made of shell as well? Uh, not sure, but it's okay. Um, and then there's this wooden one, but unfortunately it's got quite a few big gaps and then you, you can't even like move it. Um, if you move it all down together, one of them doesn't move. It's like fixed there, so. I guess that will go in broken. Um, and then this, which is Marks and Spencer's sort of wire style pearl one. It's got a MS tag there. So that's alright. I nearly forgot this silver, just a silver chain, which hasn't got a pendant on a uh, silver tone chain. Right, I'm going to open these little ones to have a look. Okay. So, elements. They're in the box. I assume they belong in the box. I will have a closer look. Uh, and see. Um, and then there's, there was these as well. So... It's pretty. Ah, a menace. So there's a pair of those, which is cool. I'm going to put them back in this box. Um, hmm. Dangly earring. And another, but one with and one without the back. A, a necklace, it's pretty. Is that Marks and Spencer's? Oh, yep, MS on there, it's pretty. And I think this is going to be MS too. Yep. Again, pretty necklace. Right, now time for the last one. Open. <laughs> okay, let me tip them out. I'll tip them out and then I'll put them back in. Oh, well. Is that 925? Oh no, MS. MS. Oh, would that be like a mood stone then, or do they not do that? Looks like it, doesn't it? Um, is that the same? No, that's not the same. That's definitely a mood stone, that, isn't it? Anything on there? Nope. I will check these closer, like, um, zoom in on them. So that's the other m one. Yeah, that's the other one of them. It's a lovely colour, that. Lovely bead. 
right. So I'm swap hands. <laughs> Uh, let's have a look. Has that got anything on that I can see? Nothing I can see just with my eyes, but I'll have a closer look. Because there's the other one, and that's really, they're really pretty, aren't they? Um, black bead. And a black bead. Very pretty. Oh, oh, so there's a green pair, like the red pair, same sort of design. Um, again, I'll have a closer look. Um, they don't even look green, do they? But they are. Um, that looks old, doesn't it? Oh, I think there's 925 on them. They're nice. Yeah. 925. Yep. Nice, aren't they? Those. like two tall hoops. Only one of them has a back. Again, like I said, I'll have a closer look. Um, oh, they're nice. They don't look like silver. Oh, well that looks like silver. Seeing them, kind of see another one. Don't know what that is. Looks black. Anything on? Ah. Uh, something written there. Wait a minute. Yeah, it says 925. Oh, don't think this camera will focus enough. But maybe you can see and I just can't. Hopefully you can. Can you see the other one? Ah, there's the other one. Lovely. Now you say there'd be something I'd buy. I would I'd, pro I'd, I'd probably ask to buy those ones, I think. My kind of thing. I like them. They're cool. Alright. It's like they look really tarnished on the on the on the gold part, you see? Yeah. Very tarnished. Um Come dark again. Very pretty. I'll have a look and see if there's anything on them close up. But I feel quite heavy. I'll have a closer look. Right, a few. Ah, there you are. It just looks like a pair of beaded ones but I will check just to make sure um, I see some hoops there and there it's just some small silver coloured I mean they feel quite plasticky so oh and that is, is that tarnished isn't it looks quite yeah Seems to be coming through. Um, oh, that's nice. Look at the colour. So pretty. Um, let's see, dangly one. There, it's lovely. I wonder if there's anything on that. I cannot see. Oh, there is something on there, but I can't see it. I will take a closer look and let you know. It's got a wing on the bottom. It's 
doesn't have the colour the other one does. Uh, that's the other one. Yeah, I'll take a closer look in a minute. Right. one stuck through there <laughs> very stuck through there how on earth I'll look at that in a second is that that one's one yeah and then this one and this one oh they're pretty do have that is this this is this called A B when it does that? Is that that? Uh, 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 what's it called? Like the Northern Lights? What's it called? Or uh, uh, blah blah? <laughs> no, that's not what it's called, is it? <laughs> I can't do words. I just can't. I can't do words. That's a pearl. There's another pro oh there we go. There we go. Two of them. Again I'll have a closer look. Um because I won't see <laughs> them at all. And some more sort of amber coloured glass drops. It's very pretty. Right, I've put the other one of these in there, so I'll stick that one there. And then we've got these. This tiny little purple bead with... Right, can we see the other one? There it's there. So a pair of those. Um, and then pair of those black ones and then there's a a darker one of these uh, yep there's the other one I'll match them and that one is attached to them so we'll just put them on <laughs> together and I'll have, like I said I'll look at them more closely when a bit later uh, I'm not sure if there are anything, maybe is that like an amber glass, not amber, amethyst, or is it just glass made to look like that possibly, I'll have a, a closer look, and it'll look like glass as well. That's pretty. No, and them really pretty. Really pretty. Just dropped one. There you go. Them in. And then those little purpley drop earrings. And then we've got these. I just keep dropping everything. <laughs> Ones. And then last but not least to them. Very pretty. Right. So I'm back, obviously. <laughs> um so I'll start with this, right? I couldn't find anything well I, I did find elements, but I I wasn't sure if this was from them because there was nothing like the box or um, the earrings which are in there, but they are stamped 925 um, and they're really pretty. And the box is well made, um, so I don't know if there's anything, but if anyone knows, let me know. Um, then we have, so we have 
this was all broken etc so i just put that i separated that out um i think she's still able to sell that to someone or other um what else was i going to do i put it up you know when you put things down and then you kind of like yeah i'll start with these which is like the i've put them all in little bags now but some of the earrings in this i was surprised weren't stamped silver but then i'm not sure so like these ones i i think i i showed them in the and then these which were right really, really pretty but they're not they're not stamped um i'm, I'm guessing that means it's not doesn't necessarily mean they're not silver but um because they weren't magnetic oh, i've gone blurred right i just unblurred myself so that hopefully it doesn't keep happening <clears throat> use my voice so yeah but none of them were stamped um there's another one that i thought might have been silver just these little um but again there's nothing written on them so i just put them all in in here in 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 single little single packets ready so that they can yeah but i mean if they aren't silver would it just be glass inside of those or um would you still get like a crystal or a rhinestone or something because i'm not really sure um then these ones i'm going to take them out of here because it's easy so these are all stamped 925 what i'm about to show so I think I'm, I showed these in a bit earlier on because I actually recorded that yesterday. Um, so these, well, they've got the, the colours go through them. So are these some sort of crystal or is this like a coating? Like, um, I've forgotten what it's called. But anyway, if someone can tell us that would be cool. But they are marked 925. Um, so I'll put them back in the bag no actually I'll just put them down and then I'll do that at the end um, and then these are the same so are these just a, is it a bead or would you class as a crystal I mean they don't do the same colours, it's quite plain, but quite, yeah, and they are stamped again, 925, I think I've blurred again, up now, one sec, I think this is just going to keep blurring, isn't it, <laughs> I keep saying that, right, these ones, I don't believe are real, um, I thought they were earlier when I showed them, so these, but and they are stamped 925 on the back um but on close inspe inspection on the back of one of them it looks um like you can see copper color coming through um i'll take a close-up because that's probably the better option i'll take a co close-up picture and put it up here so you can see what i mean and then someone could tell us that i i assume that means they're not real silver um right and then the last um oh and then there's these which have uh i think a silver um, possibly amethyst but again they are they do really need to clean um and they've got something written on the back and then it's, it actually it looks like air clean or something or all clear I've, I've, I'll, I'll do the same thing close up put it there so you can see what I mean um, so that's them um, there and like on the heart part it's I can't see without yeah I think it's just like clear but I couldn't 
I couldn't find anything when I googled it um, so if anyone has any information that would be cool um, and then these which are my favourite and I think I'll probably ask to buy these so I, I really like them and uh, yeah I think I showed them earlier um, well in fact I showed everything earlier so I will have <laughs> these are Mark 925 both on the back of the bottom part and on the hook as well but I love them and would, would anyone know if that's just glass like I tried to do a google search on them but similar ones came up but not these exactly also what even would you call that style uh, I really don't know um, I mean when I offered to do this for the charity shop I literally offered to untangle stuff and I was literally going to put them all in separate things and then give them back and nothing else but then she said do you know anything about any of it and I said I've learnt a little bit I said but you know and she says well any help is better than what we know now <laughs> so I thought oh well if I do it this way then people out there who might have a clue um, or a few clues more than me lots of clues more than me to be fair um, may have some idea um, there's also this which is a little pearl um, necklace now this is marked STG when I googled that it says it's sterling um, it's got like a pressing clip rather than like the like a pressing hook rather than um the like a lobster ring or a circle ring whatever them ones are called um and i think the the pearl is either real or glass but i'm not 100 percent sure but yeah it's got a knot in it still i've getting quite a bit of it out but need to have another go at that um other than that the rest of it was just what I showed in the other thing I've put them all in bags you know separate little bags like this um, but if you if you saw them in the first in the bit that was before and you know like how to describe them in any way or what I should be searching for then let us know oh actually I didn't show this did I and I showed this earlier because the little ring be honest I'm calling it a little ring but everything's a little ring to my fingers because <laughs> it's a chunky but it's gorgeous I, I do think it's absolutely gorgeous um now it does have something written in um I, I mean is that an emerald what do you think I mean I guess without testing it no one could really know um, I tried a Google search on it. It didn't bring anything up exactly like it. Um, it says, now I will put it up here so you can see, but in, I'm not even sure what what it is. It's either 50SS10K, 5DSS10K, 5OSS10K, or it's S O. SS 10k SD SS 10k or SG SS 10k so if anyone has any information on that be, that would be great and as I said I'll have put a picture there which you're probably looking at and I don't know why I'm saying it again but yeah really like that it is stunning but like you know obviously I haven't got a testing kit and stuff like that so I couldn't test it but maybe Maybe it's something I would I, I could do I guess, but um, yeah it would be it would be good if the it's a animal charity that, that this is for and it would be good if they could get a few quid because the the help both pets and wildlife and they're always struggling and you know if if anything gets injured they get up to them and yeah so it would be it would be good if they could make a bit of money on that. Other than that, 
thank you for watching if you're not subscribed please do if you want us to do this again or if you don't let us know in the bottom like because if i get any more from her in if it's you know if you don't mind helping uh that will that would be really cool because you know every every little helps isn't that tesco saying or something probably anyway other than that i'll put a video up here of something else that uh i've recorded if you'd like to go and watch that please do and i shall catch you next time bye bye now bye bye